Talison. And that's it. Gather your, your barbarian. today so we can uh, stop for that's now. true i've actually i've been screaming all uh, all morning i had three i well we, we got it all done in like less than the three hours i was booked for three hours of just ah! Voice over! Voice over! Ah! so there was a lot of that this morning so why are we doing barbarian tonight <laughs> tells it and to, to be clear a lot of you said yes we're we're vikings but since we're a little loosey-goosey we're pretty loosey-goosey period so we figured we'd encompass it all with a good old Barbarian. Yeah, it was, this is less of about a historical context and more about an aesthetic that we are enjoying for yeah. the evening. Yeah. Uh, so when Big I, mood, yeah. everybody. <laughs> when, I was, when I was younger, uh, a lot of the goth kids uh, and like the Rocky Horror Picture Show kids uh, who had like, some questionable issues with their parents and siblings would take all of their Thanksgiving food after Thanksgiving and we would go to one of our friend's houses who didn't own any furniture. Um, we had quite a few of those. And we would uh, plastic up the whole place, and we would sit in togas and just eat with our hands and yelp the whole night. And it was right. really great. And we called it Barbarian, Barbarian Thanksgiving. Uh, and actually, this, uh, this Thanksgiving, I went to a Viking Thanksgiving where we ate exotic meats and got a presentation from a high schooler <laughs> about the ancient Vikings. And we discussed Norse mythology. So I am primed and ready for this. Yes! That's right. Uh, and speaking of primed and ready for this, uh, oh, well, let's talk about the week first really quick. We had a good week. Just, we had a really good week. So so on We're a so game tired. engine, we had Sundeep uh, talking about uh, uh, that moment when, which is an awesome FMV mm -hmm. game, and uh, they made Pop Tart cushions. Pop Tart cushions on a, ah! on, a, on on Minds and Crafts. Yes, these have been really adorable. comfy. Yes. And uh, let's see, what, did, what, did, what all did you do? You had Jen Hale. We had, we had Jen Hale on a very special Blizzard, uh, Blizzard edition of, uh, of Critical Role where uh -huh. we played uh, um, Cobalts and Catacombs, yeah. which was fun. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I did the worst accent I've ever done in my life due to reasons, which will become clear <laughs> uh -huh, later. Uh -huh. uh, we also we talked about children's books on the Wednesday Club, which mm -hmm. was super fun. So if you're like looking for good comic books for kids, we... we uh, like Amy Dallin just sort of like her head exploded. It was like what she was born to do. Oh, really absolutely. Impressive. Well, Amy knows everything about anything when it's it comes so to comics anyway. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, so, so uh, here we are here yes. at uh, Gather Your Barbarian. And uh, we would not have been here kitted up so splendidly yeah. without the help of one Brian Forrest, of course. Yeah. Brian! You want to explain a little bit? You want to come over here and explain? Come, come on up. Ufta! That's right. Okay, so first of all, explain the Ufta. Uh, Ufta! We barbarians do not say huzzah. Those are for people that wear tights. Huzzah! Mm. We Wait. wear Lucy pads because it's important to be comfortable. It's, when these are so yeah. comfy, actually. Uh, Wearing a very comfortable dress. Mm. Yeah. Never thought I'd Double say up, that. that. Yeah. So we say Ufta! Ufta! Let's try it. Ufta! 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 And then we bang on our shields! Ah! Ah! Sorry, sound. <laughs> Yeah, we apologize yeah, to yeah. Jeff this evening. Je yeah. Jeff has got a lot to contend with. Yeah. yeah. It's going to get really loud. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to get really loud but, later uh, tonight. You, you kitted us out in all of this. Why, why do you own all this stuff? Uh, you crazy because person. Because I refuse to grow up. <laughs> I refuse to grow up, and, and based on being an, an actor and stunt performer and things, uh, uh, I find that having these help. Because if they're going between you and considering another person, you say, you know, I already own this. They go, you got the job. And I go, I know I do. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are. Yes, and here we are. Wait, awesome. is that the only reason you, you invited me here? No, no, we like you as a person. And your face painting skills are pretty pretty on, on tap. Yeah. Pretty, 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 pretty but yeah, solid. so this <laughs> evening we, we went with, uh, with Talzin being more of a, a kind of Highland-esque uh, shaman. You know, he's kind of living off the land. He may have found this this quilted padded jacket uh, off of a dead traveler. Uh, that was his old pet goat. Uh, if in, you're in the chat, we actually do not have a name for this goat. So it is a nameless goat. At the it moment. is a nameless goat. Yeah. So if you have a name for it, uh, there we go. Uh, and then he's got a buffalo on his back. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. He's got some bling. A little uh, bit of bling. You know, he's got Icelandic compasses on his bracers and pouch here. So it's just a whole lot of fun stuff. Happening. Yeah. I'm trying to remember the name of, the, of the, these the, these boots because it's these a were these, great company. these yeah. were the boots that everybody at Renfair yeah. wanted. I remember being like, I got some for my mom, and, and she was like, but they and they have like a lifetime warranty. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, lifetime guarantee. Okay, uh, uh, Erica, Erica is basically point. a battle battle priestess 
princess, go look at her wrong because she'll eat your liver. And then I am just your basic Viking uh, goon. I just go out and I capture things and I bring back pretty things. People are otherwise. That's why I've got these. I've got a wolf. I've got a furry tail. Woo! Uh, sorry, and we all have different types of weapons and That's things right. and stuff. Um, That's right. So I think we're only going to have time to meet half of our people before we uh, go to our amazing band. We have Songhammer. We met with them actually while we were on the Blizzard yeah. campus. And we're like, they're perfect for Gather Your Barbarian. And yeah. then we will meet the rest of our warriors after the break. But let's start in with some of our warriors. Look at look at everybody. Oh, my God. You yes! guys are yes! Yay! Yes! Crowd in. Crowd in. No, right. Yeah, right on, right on. Yes! Go what? through the back row and introduce yourselves. Uh, introduce yourself and uh, where people might know you. Loudly. I'm Chris Lockie. I'm the social media manager here at Geek and <laughs> Yes! When I'm not busy slinging the tweets, I like to take a load off playing some Skyrim. <laughs> and trolls. Yeah! We couldn't do this without That's you, That's our number two. Yeah! yeah. I am Oof! <laughs> Contractual Whatever right Whatever you say, Mandy. <laughs> <laughs> I host a show called Game Talk Live, and we discuss and debate video game news, and I play way too much Overwatch. Yeah. 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 Oh, no! Oh. Uh, my name is Matt King. Uh, I'm a voice actor and actor. You might know me. I'm the voice of the Pandar NPC in World of Warcraft. Yeah. 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 I'm a tunnel rat from G.I. Joe. I'm in Transformers and all sorts of other worlds. But I've done a lot of voice acting, and you might see me around on the show Numbers and a few other things. And I got Goblins Animated coming out, so check oh. that out with me and Phil Lamar. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. 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 yeah! 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 Uh, once again, I'm Brian Forrest, uh, voice actor, normal actor, host, stunt performer. Uh, we just had a new movie come out called Never Hike Alone about, it's a Friday 13th movie where I actually stunt double Jason. So check that out. And then you might know me from like the Ultraman series and lots of other random things that you probably can only see in Japan or Europe. <laughs> and, yeah, and the Critical Role opening. Oh, the Critical Role opening. I, I died critical twice. Role. God. Oh. That's right. Oh my God. I am technically like 57 episodes of Critical Role. Ha <laughs> 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 ha <laughs> All right, okay, we will meet the rest of our warriors after we get a song from a the incredible. A couple songs. I oh, that's two awesome. Songs. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to have, finally have them on the show. Song Hammer! <laughs>
rock and roll for your soul. so much. We are, oh, welcome back to the Galilee of Barbarians. That was so oh. metal! Metal oh, ah, I can't believe how we could do this stuff. Can't believe they let us do the things that we do on here. I think uh, we're and, literally out of microphones for the evening. Oh, I know. And big shout out to Jeff. Poor Jeff. Thank you for holding uh, on, man. handing on, oh. handling like, all the sound for tonight and brought in extra equipment and everything. Great job, man. All right. So let's meet life. some yeah. of the rest of our warriors here. Lauren. Hello! <laughs> I'm Lauren! I am a leather worker and I show up on the show more often than I sometimes think I am going to. But I love it and I love you all! And hello to Blondie! Hi, Hi Blondie! Blondie. I no, but you like, like, made all the pieces yeah, that you're wearing. I did oh, make most me. of the pieces that I'm wearing. Uh, uh, Is that rabbit fur? Yes. Yes. Uh, it's oh. Some of it's rabbit, some of it's fox, some of it is uh, Joanne's. <laughs> so, uh, the most the dangerous, oh, the most oh, dangerous yeah. beast of all, the Joanne. <laughs> yes. Joanne the Barbarian. Oh, right yeah. the well, there are some really scary old ladies who work at that cutting counter. No, um, no, you, you, you have to run the gauntlet to get your fabric <laughs> cut there because they are just mean. I'm just kidding. They're very sweet. They're very sweet. I'm the mean one. <laughs> so yeah, find her at Merchant Green Leatherworks. Yeah. All of her stuff. She, she also cool. makes made all the di most of the dice trays for the cast of Vast. Mm -hmm. It did make quite a few of those. Yeah. They were they were, they were like. Uh, Kelly! I'm Kelly! Kelly! Oh, that means warrior in Irish! I'm not Irish at all! Um, <laughs> hey, I'm Kelly D'Angelo, which means warrior of the angels, which is like really cool. That's so boss. yeah, yeah, that's what I am. Mm -hmm. um, uh, <laughs> hey, I'm Kelly. I uh, write animation for My Little Ponies and for uh, for um, Littlest Pet Shop, which is airing next year. All Woo! of you adults watch that show, it's fun. I have um, so many Littlest Pet Shops though! Yeah, oh, I wrote for that. So watch it next year. Um, and I'm a DM for Girls Gets Glory, for <laughs> Wizards of the Coast, and that's pretty much it. Oh, that's enough, girl. Oh, no. Is it up to me? Uh, I'm David. I, uh, I'm a writer and director with Maelstrom Unlimited. Uh, and in my spare time, I hang out with this crazy dude and do barbarian -y things. Bar oh, no! <laughs> I chose not to spin this one. Oh, oh my. He's like, oh, 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 oh. 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 it's oh. The king has arrived. He's here. Yeah. <laughs> You're spinning oh. this one. I should have brought the dog armor. <laughs> it's a wobble. Oh. Oh. It's a cute, no. cute skin. There's nothing but dogs here. It was like an everything. That's it in front of you guys. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Bravo. Oh, thank you. You look amazing. Oh. Love you. Oh, oh my God. Oh my goodness. It's a fraggle. So we have fooding, the foodening later the tonight. Fooding will be happening. Uh, but until then, we also have uh, some crazy Viking activity. So I'm going to pronounce this wrong, but I'm very excited about this because this is. We were looking into what to do for a show like this. That's right. And. Uh, Jums we can go. Jums we can go. Jums we can go. As far as we can as as pronounce we can tell. it. Yeah. Um, apparently, we were looking. We were trying to find uh, interesting traditional Viking uh, uh, games, and we found the dumbest game on earth. No, it's the best. It's so weird. Um, so basically, this is a traditional. This is a traditional like Marco Polo style game, and it's apparently centuries old and and is played where you get a trunk. A trunk. We have a trunk. We have a trunk. Uh, and two people put on blindfolds and touch the trunk and make their way around the trunk with sacks of stuff. And then at some point... Oh, Traditionally, wait. it's coins. Coins, rocks, something, it's all sorts of things. It can also be, can can also be uh, bales of, of sheep wool. Bales like of sheep wool. Sheep has been used. That would have been a lot better than what we decided to use, which is peanuts. peanuts. I'm excited for peanuts. In honor, we had, we had, we had you know, some exciting yeah, squirrel girl yeah. stuff going on, so you know. It was that week. Oh, okay. about that. oh that's um, where the peanuts are from. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I wonder when you got bags and bags and bags of peanuts. <laughs> and also, me and $20 in the 9910 right. store is always a bad idea. Okay. So you put on a blindfold, and you take this sack of stuff, and two people like will make their way around. And at one point, someone says, like, all right, wait. You say, wait. And you say, yes. And then you say, may I hit you? <laughs> with this bag. With this bag. And then they say, yes. And you take a swing. And if you manage to hit them, and you can kind of, you can't move really, you can't move your hand from where it is on the trunk at that point, but you can duck and kind of position your body as best you can and hope that they don't hit you with the bag of stuff. Can we, do we have any volunteers who would like to try this? I'll, I'm going for, I'll have Oh, you want to go first? I'll, I'll go for you it. You want to go first? I'll play you. All right. That's, That's going to hurt. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oof, wow. So let's figure yeah, out the I worst way to game. do this. Uh, okay, so, this pull, so you gotta pull, pick it up on the bottom. Okay. Is it okay to tip it? Because the, uh, the, the, the handles are broken. All right, where's the place where we're less likely to break everything? Wait. Uh, don't know. Like, I don't right. know if there is one of those. Here? We're yeah. gonna do our best. You wanna save that little hole? And remember, <laughs> well, safety first, so I'm gonna wear this helmet. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You have to be blindfolded. Yeah. So I have the blindfold. Okay, we are gonna clear. These are a little heavy, so just be gentle. So we don't break anything. You want to be? You want to be? Pokemon? Let's just take a moment and appreciate okay, these pony. pillowcases. That is, that is far heftier than I would recommend. Uh, legitimately, wait, wait, wait. No? Legitimately, right. is anyone allergic to peanuts? Because is anyone that is allergic just to peanuts? Peanut dust. Uh, this is gonna... Our sound guy, who works here very frequently, is super allergic oh. to nuts in the. Oh. I just, I just inhaled a whiff. Of like peanut butter yes. cloud, peanut cloud. Peanut butter cloud. It is very peanutty. So Should just we... give him a heads up, and we'll like give him a heads up. Head up. Consequences. <laughs> yeah. Give him a heads up, and yeah, I yeah, 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 I should do that. Can you not taste the air? Thank you, man. You can taste the air. So it's not about necessarily put about swinging hard. It's about swinging with a with accuracy. Because you got to tag them, not defeat them. So it's very much Apple Core Baltimore. Who's your friend? Me. Is kind of the. Please explain. Do you not you know Applecore? No. It's a no. game. Yes. But Austin it eats a red apple Apple Yeah, who's your friend? Just Baltimore, who's your friend? And then you say him, and then you have to hit them with the Applecore. That's like a thing. It was a, it was a chip. It was a, it was a, it was we'll, a Disney thing. We'll revisit thing. this at a later date. Apparently, I'm that old. In the 1830s. <laughs> and then we played. Did you have fun ball. pushing you over the barrel down the street? <laughs> My God, I had a hoop with I a, a hoop stick. With a stick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wait, should I put the blindfold on? Yeah, no, these are actually these are actual peanuts. 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 You can't taste the air. <laughs> you can't. You can taste it. You can you taste can the peanuts. Die. There are definitely taste peanuts it. in the air. He's got My Little Pony. Can you taste the rainbow? Yeah. All right. All right. Hand on it. Wait. Stop moving. We're we gonna. Okay, Brian. Uh, hand, hand on the on chest. Hand, hand on the chest. Who's going first? There we go. Okay. I mean, kid, don't you have to go around first? Uh, let's do a round. Right. Go around. Go. 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 I will protect you. Go. I will protect you. Go. Try not to break the plastic on the on the for the, the thing. You'll hear it. Yeah, you'll hear it. You'll hear it. Keep going. Okay. Uh, Keep going. All right. Are we gonna do this? Okay. Stop. Brian. <laughs> yes. May I swing at you? If you can. You won. Oh, hey. Good job. Keep going. You get three tries. Wait, do I walk? 
Yeah, yeah, walk, yeah, walk. Keep going. walk. You, you, get, you get to. Yeah, you can or really walk? taste it. Everybody walk. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. This is oh, so much fun place. for me right now. Keep walking. <laughs> All right, stop. Stop. Is it my turn? Yeah, yeah. Brian, you take a swing. Master yeah. Tennyson. Yes? May I hit you with my sack? Yes. <laughs> Are you allowed to do that? <laughs> The ones once they ask the question, you can't move your hand. You can move your body you anywhere. My body oh. can't move your hand. Oh. Yeah. That was a hit. Yeah. yeah. Wait, what? No, he got you. He attacked me. Oh, did he? Okay. That was a great. That was not satisfying. Right. No, that was right. that was not that satisfying. Was Get back on there okay, and okay. give us a big you old know when you are hit. Okay. Face full of nuts. Hit him with a nut sack. Ricky, going hand on the chest and go. Oh my god, this is... I can't believe they let us do this. I can't believe Ryan, they let us do what? this. May I take a swing at you? Yes. Oh! oh! That's a, a right. palpable hit. A palpable hit. I had my helmet. <laughs> All right, I think we're good. Who wants what? To do I don't this? get... No, I don't you get... Oh, you're fine. You don't have to. Right. You can do another way. No, no I think that's good. Okay, what? one more. One more. One more? One more. All right. Because we're, right? we're all tied up, right? We're all tied up. We're all tied up. Alright. Alright, speed round, go! Oh god. Oh boy. I mean gods. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Oh. Alright, how's it? Oh. Yes? May I hit you? Yes. Oh. Oh. That's heavy way harder! Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, no. That was a cloudy, cloudy hit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is weirdly yeah. bonding. What's up? All right, next Ball round. challenge me. Oh, I got you. <laughs> yeah. oh. The <laughs> biggest the man with the eagle and the littlest. Eagle <laughs> okay, I got a much bigger. Time. I have yes, the arm span of a condor. Oh my god, what a glitter! Right, where's oh the blindfold? Oh, uh, where did it go? Where did it go? Thompson. Escape his reach. <laughs> I say just yeah. don't even oh, oh yeah, you need Oh, mine's around my neck. Hey. <laughs> take your Do you want my little pony? I, I will take bad, my little pony. But I don't. I will take my little pony! It is the pillowcase of a warrior! I will take Pokemon. Play. Don't break her, she's worth more than us. I know she <laughs> She's higher on the Her versus the mountain. Brian, this is great. <laughs> yeah. Are we going, I assume oh, we're going counterclockwise? Yeah. Counterclockwise yeah. or clockwise? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Counter, counter. Okay, are you going? I'm going. Okay, go. Who's who's swinging first? Uh, you killed my Slow down, Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Ahead of okay. <laughs> In all seriousness, this pup is not. This is so entertaining. So uh, you can stop at any time. Eric, okay, you can go first. I forget your name. David. It's David. I'm sorry, David. Okay, David, wait, stop. David, David. Yep. Uh, may I hit you? Yes. <sighs> That's so really bad. I feel like everything I've been taught in life is coming into question here. I thought she was going to If you hit me to get me here, <laughs> Can we talk about how Erica was swinging to kill? Yes, yeah, she was. Yeah, she, right. That wasn't set to stun. Stop. Erica. Yes. May I lovingly tap you? Go for it. That was a miss. That was a miss. All right. Unless it was a graze. David? Yes, madam. Okay, can I hit you? Yes, you may. Can I hit you? A clean goal again. All right. That's all good. It was not too bad. No, that was a loving sack. All right. For the record, I did punch myself in the face with these with these sacks several times to like test them. Of course you did. All right. Erica. No. Yes. May I hit you? Yes. Ah! Ah! A solid hit. A solid hit. Probable hit. Okay. All right. Is that one more point? One more point. Okay. You're, you're, you're okay. Tied, so <laughs> Erica is a little ball of violence, and it's fantastic. <laughs> I like hitting <laughs> things. Hey, hey David. Yes, May I hit you? Yes. Where are you going? Wait. Yep. Yep. Okay. Go. Yep. Oh! Where are you? Oh, 
That okay. was the arm span of a condor. <laughs> that was very impressive. You guys are quite good at this game. Look at that. Dang it. Good. <laughs> Erica. Yes. May I oh. spot at you? Yes. That's adorable. Oh! oh that's so that's good. a good. That I was a beautiful been, hit. I have been bested. Oh. Oh. She's so bad. She's so bad. <laughs> I'm like oh three God. feet taller than you. I get it. It's Legolas and the Hobbits. An honorable warrior will admit when she has invested. So I totally want to go. She takes up the Pokemon weapon. Just so the just so chat remembers, this is John's oh Weekend Yard. It's a if you look up ridiculous blindfolded biking game, it will probably pop up on YouTube. <laughs> and you can watch people in various languages playing this. It's pretty. It's pretty way stupid. more fun than even this. Episode. I mean, like, it's so, much fun. It's so dumb, and yeah. it's and like and weirdly, and I will say, like, part of the fun of these is that it's like if you get something soft enough, yeah, um, it's just not that bad to hit yourself in the head with these. Yeah, like, it's just no, uh, I've seen some of the most spectacular whiffs in history playing this game. Like people who are going whole hog and then just clock themselves. With yeah, and you can just do like yeah. a, like pillow fight style. Yeah, yeah. I always so, wonder what. It's I called. found a pillow hog. <laughs> <laughs> they might know me from their cartoon face faces. So you're just like yeah. wandering by the studio tonight? You just stopped by? Well, I invited like I do. Oh, of course you did. We invited him and he said yes. I don't know why he likes hanging out with us. We're so weird. That's why. You're the best. You're the best. Ah. Awesome. Thank you for gearing up for this, too. You look, yeah. Hi, hi man. It's good. What's up, brother? Hi. Yeah. Welcome to the ridiculous. <laughs> This um, is super ridiculous. This, yeah. is, this is very, very... The, what are we looking like at, at like time? Like, Do we have time for one more fight, or do we have to move on to another segment? Do you and Matt want to go at it? Yeah. Or should we do this? Yes! <laughs> Dude, look at those guns. Yeah. 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 So do you want to play, or are you... Are you do, 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 no nut allergy. <laughs> Not kidding. I mean getting hit? Well, no. no. Like, <laughs> this is a sack of I'm allergic. I'm allergic to getting hit in the nuts. Does that count? Yeah, well, you'll be, you'll be okay. So you know the basics, or you want a refresher? Uh, I just walked in. Blindfold. Perfect. Blindfold. So you get blindfolded. Or I was drunk. And you have to keep a hand on the trunk. Ah. Uh, you're blindfolded and you have a sack of nuts. <laughs> hit, hit the other guy with your nut sack. And okay. at some point... Oh, I know this game. Yeah, you say, stop. And you, may I hit you with my sack? Or whatever. And then they say, you may. And then you take a swing. Okay. You just have to hit. You don't have to actually knock them back. But then <laughs> you take turns taking that swing and the blindfold makes it very difficult. And you just can't move your hand once the once the once once they've said your name. You know, said stop. <laughs> Hands on a hard body. Yeah. And you can't, and you can dodge. Like once they take theirs before, like you may take your swing, you can move, but you can't move your hand. As soon uh, as they say know. yes, you can swing. Yeah. As Got soon it. as they say the word yes, yes. <laughs> you get that going. Yeah. Right. Oofta. 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 Oh my god. Right. Right off. Who takes the pokey pillow? There's Pokemon and there's My Little Pony. Let's actually move this back just there. Oh, now you're moving? I just well, moved. Well, friendship is magic. I'm going to put your crown for you so it does not break. Oh, sure, that sure. is probably a good It's a idea. beautiful crown. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, uh, Mr. New York T. Callaway says this is a oh. Goblin Showdown. Goblin exactly. Showdown. <laughs> Game of Thrones. All right. I'll see now. Are there tactics? Do you hold with your strong hand or? Oh, in, oh wow. Uh, I would swing with, with, your, with, strong with your most agile yeah. hand. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You're going. To, you're going to want range and and yeah. You're you're going to want to like like definitely like try and arc in the direction. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, this isn't. It's not about strength. It's, it's about, about control. Yeah. It's about. So go ahead and start. If I had a nick of every time. So go ahead and start walking. And then. What if we run into each other? That can happen. It'll be funny. <laughs> us. Like a bit of Three Stooges in kind of way. Over us. The Three Stooges were the first barbarians. And yes, this does get dumber with beer. Uh, <laughs> oh, so no, much why, dumber. Why don't you go Stop. first? Stop. Can I hit you? Sure. Oh! oh a great tactic. That was a great tactic. That was a fantastic tactic. <laughs> Fantastic? Fantastic. 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 Phil, can I hit you with my sack of nuts? What? Yes. Oh! oh! A hit, hit. I'm gonna call it half a point. Keep going. <laughs> Thumb balls. Yeah. <laughs> 
May I strike you with my sack? Yeah! It was a good strategy, but how Final did point, go? final point! <laughs> Complaints of names. Yes. Can I hit you with my sack? Yes. Excellent dodge. A whiff for the ages. <laughs> Wait, no, it's still done. It's still Is done. it okay? Give me a second. Another point. Yeah. No, one point. <laughs> like, Matt. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> May I strike you with a bag of nuts? <laughs> yeah. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> and the counter strike. <laughs> Vikings and uh, in the Norse and Scandinavia were the myths. I'm a huge fan of Norse mythology. Uh, it's just so colorful and like the Greek gods, they're all just petty people. They like sleep around and they get drunk all the time and they get mad at each other. And it's just this, yeah, it's just this soap opera, but they have superpowers. And, I, and I've always loved that. And, you know, I definitely would recommend uh, Neil Gaiman's uh, Norse, Norse mythology uh, book, which is incredible, and mm -hmm. uh, Joseph Campbell. Cause Got into the Campbell. Yeah, because oh, really? that's just general yeah, good it. knowledge to have about mythology. Uh, but uh, I wanted to share what is uh, my favorite uh, Norse myth. And it is because, partially, it is characters that a lot of people know due to the prevalence of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Uh, so, um, one morning, Thor, uh, who you, okay, I need you, I need you all before I do this, to imagine Tom Hiddleston and Chris Helmsworth. It's very important. Done. done. It's always there. Already there. Thor was already there. I was constantly done. Thinking. So, done. Uh, so uh, one morning, done. Thor woke up and his beloved Hammer Mjolnir wait, wait, wait. was missing. <laughs> was he shirtless? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> okay. And then he'd like just been lifting the night before, mm -hmm. so it's like really like swole. 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 Was missing. He flew into a rage and he yeah. searched all, uh, all, all of uh, Valhalla, Valhalla, all of Vanaheim for it. Vanaheim, Valhalla, 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 Valhal
Disneyland. Oh, Anaheim. Oh, you can't be Thor in Anaheim. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a whole thing. No, Van, found okay, Disney, anyway. but yeah. Uh, so uh, he searches all of Valhalla for him, but to, to no avail. Uh, finally, a message comes from the giants that one of the giants, the king of the giants, in fact, has kidnapped his beloved hammer, and the only way that he's gonna get it back is if he receive, if the giant is given Freya, the beautiful goddess Freya, his hand, her hand in marriage. Uh, she that looks was... like, who does she look like, people? Who, who do we imagine Freya looks like? No. Zoe Saldana. Zoe Saldana. Zoe Saldana. Freya looks exactly like Zoe Saldana on a good day. Yeah. Um, and there is no way that <laughs> she's going to marry. Day, she was, like, yeah, even on her worst day. But she, there's no way that she's going to go through with this. No. So uh, Loki, who sometimes is a bad guy, but is uh, sometimes a good guy, but is always beautiful. And yeah. always likes her. <laughs> yeah, he, he comes up with this plan. He says, okay, you and I, Thor, are gonna go into the uh, kingdom of the giants and we are going to go undercover and steal back Mjolnir. Um, so they decide, they, they send back a message and they say, yes, uh, Thor will return, uh, or I'm sorry, that uh, Freya, who looks like Zoe Saldana, <laughs> Call will, it back to your hand. <laughs> that uh, Freya will agree to marry the giant, the king of the giants. Mm -hmm. um, and so instead they dress up Thor in uh, a Freya outfit. And he's got like the, the hair, the hair extensions, <laughs> and in the beautiful gown. Mm -hmm. They take him over and, and Loki escorts him all the way to the kingdom of the giants. Mm -hmm. They arrive. Um, uh, and immediately there there is to be the wedding feast before they are married. Uh, <clears throat> Just like so they sit down at the feast, and the king of the giants is sitting right next to Thor, who kind of has his hair covering his face. And he looks at looks at his eyes, and he goes, "Oh my God, what's wrong with what's wrong with Freya's eyes?" And this, and Loki says, "Oh, uh, she was weeping all night because she was missing you. She was missing you so terribly. So oh, her eyes are red and a little puffy." Uh, and then he says, "Oh, that's fine." Uh, they bring out the boar and. Thor eats the whole thing, like entire thing, like cleans the bones. The king he of the giants really good is at a things. little appalled at this and says, uh, "I had no idea that Frey had such an appetite." <laughs> and uh, and and Loki says, "Um, well, uh, she's getting ready for the wedding night." Mm. And the king of the giants is more than happy to accept this. Uh, Thor then drinks five tankards of, of mead, and the king, there's, there's no way he's gonna let this go, uh, but, uh, but Loki explains, oh no, uh, she's so parched, she was wailing the entire time, just begging for you, and the king is satisfied, so he says, great, let's have the wedding ceremony, and he brings out the hammer to bless the bride, and at that point, Thor, who looks like Chris Helmsworth, okay. picks up Mjolnir and lays waste to the entire kingdom of the giants, bringing back Mjolnir. Uh, and that was one time that Loki was a cool dude. You were a cool and dude. Thor, and Thor was in a dress. And yeah. Thor was, Thor in, was, a was in a dress. In a dress. Yeah. I love Good this myth so <laughs> much because it just illustrates they're they're so colorful and interesting. And yes. Like there was cross dressing for badassery. Yeah. <laughs> yes, my favorite. Cross dressing my favorite for victory. Husband. Yeah, cross dressing for cross victory. Cross dressing oh, for victory. It didn't, it didn't yeah. Stop it, gender swapping, even remotely. Oh, like it, oh. yeah. 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 Let's talk about Slepnir. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and I mean, uh, I please definitely check out Neil Gaiman's book on Norse mythology, and there are a ton of other books at your local library uh, because because it is just so colorful and interesting, and I I um. <laughs> That was kind of like the telling that I do. That I've, I've told this for children before, and that's the one that kind of comes alive for them because they already know, like, oh, I know what these gods look like, and then these are these are funny stories. And ah, oh, Thor is in a Chris Hemsworth is in a dress. That's great. I'm, I'm going to be screaming for Anaheim now in front of like. Before yeah. I Anaheim. 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 Now, I Only start, because yeah. Anaheim is actually where you can go to meet Thor now. It you is. Can go to Disneyland, yeah, it's true. and Thor is at Disneyland now, so you can actually go for Anaheim. <laughs> Which is just makes me feel so silly. Yes. <laughs> and uh, you do you know do you know Norse mythology? I know a little bit of North, Norse mythology. I was really I, I had to actually weirdly uh, for working on Evangelion of all things, I had to learn a little bit about the Odin myth, uh, mm. about, about uh, like how Odin gained his power and lost his eye, and like how he had to classic, sit in the tree classic. and he had ravens pecking at it. It's a really fascinating story and like that there's so much there's so much to learn about about Viking myths. Also the fact that the Vikings were in, were in content, uh, co uh, contact with all sorts of uh, groups of people all over the world mm -hmm. before what we could we consider to be like the Western, uh, like like the, the Western overtaking of, of 
of uh, the Atlantic and Pacific happened, and they were just going everywhere in these really great little boats. And just, phrase yes. it. <laughs> yeah. Long ships or our dragon yeah. boats. Um, <clears throat> they were they were really like very ahead of their time. Mm -hmm. They they were they were just so well built that they could just go on these fantastically long ocean voyages. I, I'm a big fan of a book. Speaking of a good Viking book, The Eaters of the Dead. Oh, very good. Do you know the, the Eaters yes. of the Dead? Very what was the name book. of the movie? They made a movie out of it that was with Antonio Banderas. It's 13, 13, 13, 13 Warriors. Warrior. With terrible. the bit. Fireworm! <laughs> <laughs> Worth it just for the joke. It's honey. Yeah, it, it's honey. It's honey. It's honey. It's honey. I live um, on a hill, and the four I can see the four or five at night, and it literally looked like going up over the hill, and it literally the four looks or five like the is our freeway that is always crowded. Yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, SNL references a lot. Yeah, uh, but it looks like the fireworm every night as the sun comes. <laughs> and I always scream it, and no one ever gets it. That, that movie is he makes that joke. Every, Every time. time. You know when dad makes the same joke over and over again? That's his dad. <laughs> Every night we're there. We had Fireworm! It's a great movie, check it out. It is a great movie, it's a great book, and uh, and if, if uh, I wish I had brought some Viking blood mead. I meant to bring the Viking it's blood so mead. It's so good. Oh I have to God, drive all so the way to Eagle good. Rock, and you guys don't know how far down the Fireworm oh, that is, but it's really good. <laughs> That's far down the Fireworm. Yeah, it's a lot of Fireworm. That's right. like three Fireworms. That's, that's a lot. That's three Fireworms. It's a lot. Uh, I think, like are we, are we, uh, are we, uh, <laughs> um, also, uh, we, I think we were a couple minutes out, we still have a couple more minutes, but, oh, yeah. um, just so you know, somebody, I'm gonna, okay, you know what, it's my show, I'm gonna talk about this. Yeah, uh, so somebody it. was talking about, uh, Loki gender swapping uh, and shape shifting, and I guess I'll take this opportunity to say that I voice, uh, Loki in, yeah. uh, the new Fire, in Fire Emblem Heroes. Uh, the, the new Woo! the new chapter just came out. Oof, and I, oh, oh, thank you. And I and I am Loki, and Loki is very much a, a female there's, Loki. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of <laughs> there's some tracks of land. Yeah, oh, oh, the fine tracks yes. of land. Yes. Yeah, both both goats are yeah. definitely yeah. Uh -huh. it's a, there's a lot happening right. here with Loki. Um, you sound great. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I, get to, I get to use my sexy voice. Yes, now yeah. you're all the way down there. Yes. Well, that one. But speaking of sexy, um, the Vikings, the uh, a lot of a lot of what you might think you know about Vikings is is not in fact true. Like for instance, they didn't have horns on helmets. Uh, but we that all comes from uh, Richard Wagner's Ring Cycle, which is you know like uh, it, it ain't over till the fat lady sings mm -hmm. and what's opera da, and uh, mm -hmm. that popularized the idea of Vikings with horned helmets. Most of the time they would have. Uh, just <laughs> helmets, just like normal helmets with like a lot of, they'll have the nose guards and everything. Um, because the uh, the, uh, wait, have you actually listened to it? It is oh, yeah. like a five, like each section of it is five hours. We went to a festival where they were playing it for like a couple, when I was very young, they had a ring cycle festival where they were just playing it like different chunks on oh. stages all oh, over. Oh my this. gosh. And the most famous one of those is the last one, which is uh, Der Nibel, uh, oh, Der yeah. Ring Nibelung, des yeah. Nibelungen. Well done. Yeah, thank you. I'm a fan of the Freischutz, but yeah, that's a not very cycle. <laughs> yeah. My, I, I discovered Wagner actually because of a book that I owned when I was young. Go on. Uh, which was a book of, it was called The Thoroughly Incomplete uh, Social History of Almost Everything. And it's a really good book if you can find it. And it's uh, quotations from famous people about food, about <laughs> entertainment, about music. And it's just like, it's like takes you through a cultural, like the cultural wasteland of, 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 the, of the 19th and 20th century. And of Wagner, there was a quote from a music from a from a from a music critic that said, "Wagner's music is better than it sounds." And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> "I don't need to know what this is." I was like, "That's such a great piece of that's criticism." Cool. That's <laughs> awesome. Does anybody else have a random fact about the Vikings that they would like to share? Oh, oh please, please. Uh, uh, Odin. A lot of Vikings, especially nowadays, if you were to ask them where the the legend of Santa Claus came from uh, before Coca Cola. Uh, that that Ooh. Odin was actually being the All Father and also the Yule Father of Yule, uh, basically being the winter solstice and everything like that and all those good times. And the reason why there is eight reindeer is because Odin's horse has eight legs. Slipnir. 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 Yeah. Uh, Loki. Loki's one of Loki's, Loki's children. Kids. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> explain that one, Loki. <laughs> he fucked a horse. What's to explain? Okay, that is the explanation. <laughs> Great. Spoilers. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Equus. Uh, but there's also another great show. If, if uh, uh, there's actually a show called uh, Norsemen, uh, that's actually I believe on Netflix, where yeah. it's actually done by a completely uh, Viking cr cast crew up in the fjords, and they have all real villages, <laughs> all real longships, and everything. But it's basically them taking on social topics of both their age and ours, 
and interact <laughs> and playing them out, but as you would in that time period. So it's all about like like women's rights and stuff, and the, the husband wants his wife to stay at home, and she goes, one of us has to pillage, and clearly you're not capable of it. <laughs> and, she's like, and he goes, you make a lot of really good points, and it's like, it's all, and, and social injustices, and it's called Norseman, it's on Netflix. It's I will really, check really that funny. out. On the other end of the spectrum, there's the Almighty Johnsons. Uh, it is Wait, what? Uh, what? the, oh my god, it's, it's from New Zealand. Yep. Uh, it is a family of um, of Kiwis who are transplants from from the uh, the Norse areas uh, are inhabited by God. So um, uh, a Balder and it's Balder and Loki, Loki and yeah. uh, Thor is the main character. Um, it is ridiculous. It is sexy. It's a little bit dumb. It's like the non musical version of Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. Yeah, yeah, uh, <laughs> and it's ridiculous. Pretty and much. and if you want to kill like a day and a half punging it. And American Gods American is my God. American Gods. Gods. With, yeah. It is yeah. my favorite, favorite, favorite God, show. Song. Oh, Who's better for us? Uh, um, all right. Oh, so we've got <laughs> another song coming up, or two, perhaps. Uh, I think it's. I think it might be one or two. I don't know. I think. I think it's just one for this just one, one, and then yeah. We have another song from Songhammer, everybody. Oh! Oh! Songhammer, we're here for your pleasure tonight, and uh, if you go to songhammer.com right now. You're going to see a free music link. And just for tonight, we're giving out a free song for all of you. So you're going to want to go and check that out, songhammer.com. And in order, of, uh, you know, in order to rock you properly, we're going to bring the entire Legion right this very minute. This song is called Legion. Die! Die! Spectral side illuminates the night. The time has come for another war, a different storm.
Oh, no, we're coming. Oh, God. Oh, we there's so many been. wires. I'm so sorry. We should have used the back door. Don't tell the crew. No, the crew gets very angry when we come on from the front. <laughs> you guys, thank you so much for coming in tonight. Oh, my God. Fantastic. Um, let's just take a moment and introduce all of you. All right. So over here uh, on guitar right here, we've got uh, Death Hammer. Okay. Yeah. Over here on vocals and guitar. I'm Croon Hammer. Pleased to meet you folks. Oh, the mighty yeah. Croon Hammer. Over here uh, on drums, we've got Time Hammer. <laughs> and I am Shred Hammer. That's right. So uh, we do a lot of work for Blizzard Entertainment. We do music for them, and we perform at conventions around the world, Gamescom or BlizzCon uh, in Anaheim. <laughs> Anaheim! <laughs> Anaheim. <laughs> We're like a, you know, a tourist bureau. <laughs> so what, what did you decide? To, so it's, it's a mix of like geekiness and metal and fantasy. How did you form this band? Uh, mental illness, primarily. I feel that. Heck yes, <laughs> man. That's wrong. That's all right. Practicing so in brand. 2011, um, Blizzard has these cool competitions uh, at BlizzCon every year. One of them is a songwriting competition. And in 2011, we entered. And won. And actually, uh, they don't any longer have the song competition. So it's become the talent contest. So Correct. Uh, what, what happened in 2013? Oh, 2013, we entered again, and we won. <laughs> So after that, Blizzard started hiring us to perform around the world and uh, be a spokesperson for beauty and justice. And, and that's kind of like vanity pets. What do you mean by spokesperson? I feel like a band. <laughs> <laughs> so, but were you a band before? Uh, we were in separate bands, but much like Voltron, it took <laughs> multiple lions to form this mighty warrior. You guys are so <laughs> perfect for this channel. So. I know you guys. And I know you guys play play Warcraft because we were talking a little bit about Warcraft. What, what, uh, and I, you guys came in some very nice uh, Overwatch when you showed up. You had you had some yeah, like yeah, matching over Overwatch, yeah. Overwatch jackets. Yeah. Uh, are you guys Diablo players too? A little bit of Hearthstone or yes. you yes. do the whole? In, yes. in fact, there might be a Hearthstone song in the works. Is that uh, right, Grunhammer? It might be country and western maybe. <laughs> That's all right because it's Hearthstone. It's a card game, and when you're playing a card game, you got to draw cards. Obviously. What? My, my best client actually started I, as Alliance, but she was Grey Knight, and they're so cool looking, but now she's Horde. So they made the 25 bucks, you can raise chains, all that stuff. All but if so, you're in the Alliance, we've also got music for you. So please, buy Songhammer. Can we talk about your armor really yeah. quickly? Oh, wow. Uh, it's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. Where did you get it? Did you all design it? Uh, we, we helped design it. We aren't, uh, we aren't armorsmiths ourselves, but we have a fantastic armor. Oh my god. Uh, he's really well priced for how awesome this stuff is. And this stuff, as you can see, we can dance. <laughs> yeah, we, can, we can make love. Anything we gotta do. I'm very. No, please. please no, yeah, no, no, we're, we're into it. I was just getting into it. But. Yeah, no, I, I mean, like, this, it's, it's, you guys just have such a, a fun look, and it's just so fabulous, and it's weird how much good music you hear at BlizzCon, like, like, I got to see, I got to see Ozzy Osbourne play a few years ago, right, yes. including, and he had that little kid that he picked up who was playing lead guitar, who was, like, literally, yes. like, holding the kid while the kid was rocking out on, like, the electric, and, oh, my God, I thought he, the, I thought I was just going to fall over and the kid was going to crush him yeah, like a boulder. Weird Al. Was yeah, Weird Al. Weird yeah, Al. This year was Muse, oh, the band Muse, fired. which was amazing. Yeah. If you haven't been to BlizzCon, like, BlizzCon is a really special event, and it's one of those, that, like, I, I see yeah. and I'm like, you guys had fun this year, right? So. Well, and there's nothing like BlizzCon in the world. There's no other convention where they hire a band like that. Like, they've had Linkin Park. They've had ah. the Foo Fighters. They've had Metallica. They had, you know, this year was Muse. I mean, it is it is incredible. And that's just the talent that they hire in. Oh, and this band called Songhammer. They and, kind of bring them in. Yeah, and occasionally the Torn Chieftains. Right, right. <laughs> Torn Chieftains, love. Right. Are you playing any other games besides Blizzard games right now? Is there, is there anything that you like? Anything that you're thinking about maybe doing a song about that's not Blizzard? 
Well, some of the things we do that are not Blizzard, uh, like Game of Thrones, we have songs for Game of Thrones. Uh, I'm coming. That's right. We have a Voltron song. <laughs> yeah, Sword Art Online. Right now, we have a, it's a great anime, Sword Art Online. If you haven't checked it out, do it. And check out the song, Sword Art Online by Songhammer. But, but to directly <laughs> answer your question, um, you know, there are a lot of Blizzard games, and it takes a lot of time if you want them all. Like, for example, mm. if your Warcraft characters all need to be 940 eye level, so you can pop right into heroic and Taurus Burning Throne, it, that's gonna, that's a time, that's gonna take some time. So we're open to the idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I feel that. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for coming in. You're welcome. Um, once, once more, where can people find your music and find you guys? They're gonna find it on the interweb uh, at songhammer.com. You go there, all of the socials, forward slash songhammer, hashtag songhammer, at songhammer. And uh, our YouTube channel is the only one that's a little different. It's Songhammer One. And if uh, if our if our Facebook page gets a hundred likes tonight, I'm gonna put up a baby picture of Shredhammer. <laughs> and I am and an awesome baby. <laughs> you if it gets two hundred, we'll both me. do it. Yeah. And when my, when I was a baby, my hair stood straight up. Well, that was when I had hair, but it stood straight up when I had hair. <laughs> so I cut it all off. That was bullshit. Oh, excuse my language. Oh no, we're on the air. Oh, yeah, we're it's say fine. bullshit. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> They're up late. They're up late. It's a okay. Friday. All right. Uh, are we are we up yeah, and ready think, for our? I think we're up and ready for the uh, dumbest thing we've ever done. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. What, have song him on. Yeah. We're here. Oh wait. 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 Oh, this is the best. Twitch loves it though. We love you, Twitch. Hi, Twitch. Uh, call me. <laughs> so are we ready to cut? Soldiers of Acheris, prepare! So, battle! so uh, occasionally, warriors ha need to settle disputes, and they're gonna do it right here, right now! Oh, that was the intro! I'm sorry! All right, we're gonna, don't get, well, actually, I'm we were sorry. gonna- I'm sorry, are you gonna- We were actually just oh, gonna- they're just gonna use their friends. words. Right they're, they're gonna use their <laughs> words. Sharing is care, but, but if you want us to fight, do you want us to fight? Well, I don't know, at least like call each other names or something. We could we 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 could do a little like historical as far as wait wait your face face the camera. Okay. We could do a little historical <laughs> as far as we know and as far as you know, because you weren't there. You weren't there. Uh, reenactment of how bar barbarians and Vikings may have settled their differences. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And hopefully we come out in one piece. We are starting with five fingers on this, five fingers on that. Don't know how many toes I got, but let's go with that. He's got that many. And uh, and uh, this is James again, Brian. He's gonna be fighting with a Tarj and a short axe. I'm gonna I'm gonna fight with this because it's here. I'm gonna fight with this round shield and then a, a traditional Viking uh, longsword here. Run, Erica. <laughs> <laughs> Erica, Erica will referee. Yeah. Don't go far. We may need you. We may need you for to to read us into Valhalla. Just in case. Now remember, to get into Valhalla, you have to you have to go out holding a sword. So if you die, I'll hand this off to you. Okay? We just got we only got the ones we have to we have to share. All right. Let's do this. Stretching is important. Glutes. Glutes. Jack! <laughs> 
That was so terrifying, especially with all the that very expensive amazing. equipment. I also, I'm sorry, I didn't know that like they needed like a what introduction. We we should have gone over the beforehand. <laughs> I would hate for anyone to think we're organized here. I know. That's definitely. So I think now maybe it's time for like now that we've gotten that out of the way, perhaps to like to like bring the mat back in, sit down, and like have some food, talk to chat. Heck yeah! I think it's time for a feast after everything. A feast! A feast! A feast! A feast! A feast. A feast. Yeah. Yeah. We also, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll set up the feast. Well, uh, the All Father gives us our, our information up? for the week. Hey, everybody. I feel like I look like a Viking lawyer. Anyway, <laughs> uh, just so you know, some stuff that's coming up here on the channel that we haven't been really great at announcing yet. A week from this Saturday, so not, uh, not tomorrow, but a week from then, we're doing a... 10 plus hour Dungeons and Dragons tournament for charity. It's a uh, celebrity, uh, celebrity, Chera Celebrity 20. Charity, charity. It, check it on the website. Anyway, it's very confusing. I didn't name it. Um, it's it's five different, what if we hit? Let's, charity 20. Thank you, Phil Lamar. It is uh, five different games with five amazing DMs and some amazing players. And we're taking money the whole time to benefit a literacy charity. Check it out. It is on the website. Well worth your time. Go to geekandcenter.com for more information. And uh, it is definitely worth checking out. Also, next week on Monday, we have the Q&A episode that you guys helped to create through your own charitable donations on Shield of Tomorrow. Uh, and then we have some really cool stuff coming up throughout the week. You should definitely check all of that out. And I have no idea what they're going to do here on my set, but I'm a little bit worried. Um, uh, if you're Dick and Johnson fans, Dick and Johnson, which just had Phil Lamar on it, check it out in VOD, well worth your time, uh, is now on YouTube on occasion. We have five episodes coming to YouTube. If you like Dick and Johnson, please share it with your friends. They will finally understand the insanity that is that show. Um, and what else should I mention that's coming up next week, Lockie? <laughs> <laughs> Good. Thanks for that. That was great. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think of what we have. We definitely have some cool stuff coming up next week. I'm just from, I'm forgetting half of it. Um, I know. Oh, it's not, okay, so we've been we we spent uh, a couple of weeks ago talking to you about Weave, which is this really exciting RPG, which you kind of use like an app and some tarot cards for. We're actually playing Weave live on the air for AXYB next week. That's at the regular time. Uh, if you want to see how Weave actually plays, you finally get a chance to see that. Um, and uh, what do you have for Wednesday Club next week? Uh, you know, we don't know yet, but it's probably my, my guess. If I had to, well, here, come on. Come, come out here and guess. Hello. It's a rescheduling. <laughs> uh, due to rescheduling, all right, let me, oh, or the, <laughs> the camera over here. Over there. Uh, I think we're probably going to be talking about Grant Morrison. I think it's like, Ooh. it's close to Christmas, so we're all like a little tired, and like, it's, it's fun because that's actually the one thing that like Amy's got to read for, and like Matt Key and I feel pretty good about, so it's like a nice change of pace. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> As All opposed right. to her giving me a pile of notes and being like, can you read this by next week? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think so. All right, so watch Amy Dallin crash against the rocks of Grant Morrison Thank coming God. up on Wednesday <laughs> here on Geek and Sundry. Um, also, we have uh, some great stuff. Oh, that is, um, have you announced what's going on for Critical Role that week? Is I don't it, remember is it anymore. It has not been announced. Oh, shit. I they should definitely watch, though. I definitely don't remember what we're doing anymore. Oh, because no. I'm, I'm doing too much. Too I know what you're here. doing, and it's great. I, uh, I believe you. All right. Well, we, if we haven't announced it, we haven't announced it. But I, I, so the, how's that for a tease? Oh. Uh, and then Friday on Highly Experimental, we have Shaky Alibi, which is the largely improvised uh, noir detective show. I highly recommend that. Kate Elliott is the host of uh, that show. And I'm not doing Dick and Johnson that week because I'm up visiting our friends at Twitch. So Dewey is going to be running Dick and Johnson. There you go. Are you ready to eat some food? Uh, we're still putting stuff out, but yeah, okay. pretty much. Okay. Uh, I have to vamp more about my channel? Jeez, I don't have anything more to talk about. Okay, we have we have some good holiday stuff coming up. Yeah, we have some crazy holiday stuff coming up. Um, let's see, what else is too fun? Many holiday, uh, too if you're not watching Darren and Amy on Alpha, I highly recommend it. Darren and Amy have to do a morning show, is an, an, yeah, which Phil Lamar will be on on Monday. Um, that show is really not to be missed, and this particular episode is probably the most bold and daring one we've ever done, so I highly recommend that. Also, Thrashtopia and Madness still going strong on uh, Alpha. We've got a new um, t-shirt from Madness. New t-shirt from Madness. new Madness t-shirt, which I'm going to get because I'm supporting my best friend Erica and all the mental anguish we put her through for that show. Heck yeah! 
Uh, and, tabletop and day is uh, April 28th. 28th. April 28th what? is Tabletop what? Day. We yeah. Tabletop yeah, we announced Tabletop, tabletop day. day. Yeah, this is the earliest we've ever announced Tabletop Day. We got our shit together. Yeah, some kid gave me a hard time. He said, you guys are earlier than Christmas I, decorations. <laughs> fact, I, was, I was listening to Christmas carols before Halloween. I feel like it's just like we've lost, we've lost ourselves. Yeah, Christmas now is everything. It's going to be so good. <laughs> and yeah, and I love the new Thrash Cup. was up with, with the Future Steves, which is a lot of fun if you yep. want to see the Steves from the future. Very nice. Many uh, Steves yeah. from the future. Big episode, the newest episode of Madness. Uh, prepare yourselves for that, but definitely fan fantastic. Uh, we had the first uh, tattoo of Madness yeah, today, which right. is incredible. Thank you so much uh, for that. Uh, yeah, I think I think we're good. We, right. we I think the foodening is about to I think to the foodening. So I'll leave it to your foodening, everybody. I have I have more forms to fill out from as my Viking lawyer. Guys, if you're gonna go on the raid, I need you to sign the release. It's very important. If you want medical coverage on the raid, you can't have any pillaging without forms filled out. I think it's pretty easy to do. You can sign your X. No one has to sign a signature. It's crazy. If you can't, if you can't, if you can't write, just put the X. Yeah, just, just put, put X. your X on it. Write. It's, a, it's we're not hard. We're breaking your front. <laughs> Oh man, I don't know if they heard that, but that was amazing. Anyway, uh, so here we are. Uh, we have oh, our feast. And uh, actually, Jeff, if you want to bring this out to, so, to do this here, oh, and perfect. while you explain. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah so. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not one of you. Uh, oh, oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, so amazing. Oh, what do you mean, one of you? Heathens! Heathens, everybody! Yeah, we have a literal definition of heathens. We have a poly, a polytheistic, uh, uh, oh my God. You know, religious system. That looks yeah. so good. So, ex I think Explain. Every, I th yeah. So, okay. I'm gonna get started, too. <laughs> yes, please do. So this is actually a boar shoulder that I shot myself in Texas. <laughs> yes! Uh, yes. During our hog hunt. Yes! Sound guy, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> and... The, it, and this is very. This will, this will be very, very yeah. like Viking, like angry person. But it's a very <laughs> life-changing <laughs> thing when you have to watch something die after you shoot it. Yeah. 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 It's a life-changing experience. I don't know if I'll do it again. <laughs> but, thank, but, but thank you for its bounty. Yeah. But I, I thank I, I thank it for its bounty. I have the head, I have the skull, actually, in my room. I got it taxidermied. And that's the thing is, a lot of people like they don't know where the food that they have comes from, and this kind of gives you a big, better appreciation of it. Yeah, it gave me a huge appreciation for where my food comes from, how to actually, you know, they just cut it into pieces and gave it to me, and I had to dress it down and cut off the extra sinew and the extra skin and fat layers like that. So, yeah, it's, it's, and... It's oh man, I'm actually so super surprised how good it came out. Oh, really it's delicious. Yeah. It's so yeah, let's tasty. cut up some pieces yeah. and uh, yeah, then we have uh, Talison. Let's let's uh, talk about this. So we have and we what have we, we still have some stuff in the fridge for later. What is what is the stuff in the fridge? The Oreo. Oh yes. <laughs> but I was trying to think about the stuff that we have. So everybody, come everybody on come in. Everybody come in here. Come in here. We have, here. We have a limited time. Cheese, we have bread, we have we have mashed potatoes, pumpkin pie, we have some. Next to some... That? So how are we eating? I want to sit uh, next to I'm, that. I'm glad you asked that, Kelly. Oh. So everybody, okay. go for it. Ah! Somebody's gonna get fur in their mouth. Oh. Oh. You just do the bread like. <laughs> are we eating this? Oh yeah. I wish I made pork rolls. I have broken oh the bread. Three breads. There is, there is gravy on, that you can move. dip the bread in. I gotta move the mic so that people can hear people. Oh, I hear you can hear yeah, whatever. Here. Oh. 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 Here. Oh. 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 my God. Not that yeah. I was so good. Gosh darn. Gravy is like super red off camera. But like. I highly recommend if you like if you have a group of if you have a group of friends who kind of who, who are kind of like Thanksgiving uh, uh, Thanksgiving orphans or if you do an orphan Thanksgiving if you want to do a post thing for your for your uh, for your Sorry, left ones, this is a great thing to do also post. Oh, you missed! Oh. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Okay. No, okay. Don't, that, that's the phone. That's the whole thing. That's what Just, she wants. Um, yeah, I know that's what The Ding Ding oh, Demands Brie. Oh, oh Ding Ding Demands Brie. Oh, oh, right. Right. I'm so happy. That is so Viking of you. Demand the Brie. I'll give you some minutes. Oh, thank you. Mm. Oh. Hello. 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 A little cheese, a little bread, a little mm. meat. Oh, mm. mm. a good bar. Oh, my God. Oh, John. 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 Oh, Oh my god. Ah. Ah. We have to 
Thorns are not good for. This is legit. Uh, Brian, apparently you're cheating using 13th century armoring sword techniques on a Viking longsword. Crossing! <laughs> Wait, how did you prepare this, Jeff? Huh? Like, like, yeah, Jeff, how did you oh, prepare well, this? Mm. I'm beating the crew! Thank you. Somebody's got to. Jeff will come back, but like... I, I, I it's really good. And if you've ever met a wild boar, they're really mean, so I'm kind of okay with it. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're invasive pests. They are. They 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 destroy a lot of property. They're taking over. They are breeding and taking over a lot of Middle America. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you know about Do you know about Catalina? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I almost shot a Catalina. Mm. <laughs> I know. I know. It's a terrible joke. It's expensive. <laughs> it's so I'm gonna say this with my mouth full like a terrible person, like a Viking. Like a Viking. What? What is it? For those of you who don't know, mm -hmm. Wednesday Club, um, Catalina is an island off uh, the coast of uh, the coast of California. Mm -hmm. It's where rich people go to screw on the weekend. And it's really fun. Well, <laughs> that's what they used to. That's true. It's, it's kind of passe. No, it's, it's, it's yeah. It's scuba diving. It's got wow. very good scuba diving, wow. uh, like a little bit of ocean kayaking and into that. It's trail. camping ice water. <laughs> Um, yeah, 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 yeah. But they used to film <laughs> movies there, and at the time they brought they they, they were shooting yeah they were showing uh, shooting westerns and they wanted pigs, but they didn't like the look of real pigs, so they got wild boars to play the pigs because they read better on film and they just left them there. Because the fifties, and so um, it's the fifties. The they also left some water bottles and an angry pig, and, and some <laughs> buffalo. And buffalo. <laughs> they left buffalo, which is why there were buffalo on Catalina's because of the film shoot. So they left fifty of them now. Yeah, there's like a there's a herd of buffalo in Catalina Island. Wow. But there's also wild boars who will fuck with you when you're camping, and it's really irritating mm -hmm. and terrifying because they're mean and they'll they'll, they'll they're kill you. The they will bore you. Oh my god! Oh, oh, they like, will actually bore you. It sounds like, like a horror. Of course, film. Inquisitor. Yeah, I mean, it's good. Camp. Have you been camping there? It's really great. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. But I don't camp there Very for just tall. that reason. <laughs> I am. You afraid of pigs? They're yeah, poor. Yeah, I'm dying in the night by a wild animal shoving its teeth through my body? Yeah, it's I'm like cool. The so you make it sound sexy. Carbs. That actually sound pretty solid. Carbs yeah. are good. Carbs ah, mm. are good. But I'm going to have some more brie. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. this is so good. The Viking tribe invented brie. <laughs> Shut the hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, go for it, go for Ragnar's it. Ragnar's brother uh, there's helped him. found um, Normandy, and Normandy is a part of France, and Brie is French, and shit. <laughs> that, was, that was some sure. intense Kevin Bacon. Uh -huh. Actually, well, I love true. your math history. So Normandy was created because um, uh, a Viking, I forget exactly which Viking. Norman. Was. It was Ragnar's brother. Yeah, Ragnar's brother. No. Um, <laughs> essentially, you if know. you start to feel gross, there are. The king uh, oh, of Charlemagne was pushing, <laughs> was pushing up at that time, and then... Um, they didn't want to have to deal with the Vikings, so they said, we'll give you this ah. land if you yeah. just kind of stay out. So they did, and it became Normandy. Mm. Cheese him, cheese him. I can't move. Oh my god. Ah! There you go. Oh god, yes. Dip it in the juice. Dip that. it in the juice. Oh my god. Yeah. Dip it in the juice. Dang it. You know that woman who's just there sitting on like a oh. plane? Oh, it's still a woman. Are you a cheddar? Claudia, do you, you, need, do you, need, do you need food? Claudia, I wish you were here. I wish you were here. I wish you were here. So, so boars are one of the two, one of the two animals that I'm actually usually very pleased to eat. Boars and ostriches, because you've ever met an ostrich, they are mean. They don't like you, and you yeah, don't they, like them. They're just ugly. They're they're just they're awful. It's like you're eating dinosaurs. Yeah, they are. They're they're like yeah. it's, it's it's yeah. It's like a feathery, angry dinosaur giraffe. They're not cool. <laughs> And like anytime I can find an ostrich burger, I'm just so excited. <laughs> get in here, get some food. Beast with us. Gator burgers. Get some food. Gator burgers. Yeah. Okay. Just grab it. Come through my that way. We'll just, we'll just we'll do a rough yeah. body like I'm. We were hydrating <laughs> like all the great Viking <laughs> warriors. Hydrate should. or die. <laughs> Jim, get it. Jim, what is that? Nobody eats yet. Oh my God. Everything and everything. Sorry. Oh, what is this? It's like a good. I don't think peanut butter. It's very good. Uh, so normally we're not supposed to eat on camera, but but we figure. Is that a thing? Is that yeah. really a thing? Is that a law? Unless it's a Viking feast. We ignore it because it's a feast. 
Ah. And I'll mention that That's nobody... That's an actual Lazy Susan. Yes. <laughs> um, I don't know where the Lazy <laughs> Susan came from. That We briefly were thinking about using a Lazy Susan for Matt's maps during Critical Role. So this might be a... Oh this might have been a Critical Role Lazy Susan. <laughs> yeah! Uh, oh. You're lactose intolerant. More about this. What are you doing? I am lactose intolerant. <laughs> <laughs> but tonight we dine in <laughs> Anaheim! <Anna. Anna. laughs> <laughs> In the bathroom in Anaheim. Uh huh. He uh -huh. took his laugh, Tate. It's okay. Oh. It's Rainforest Cafe. Oh, no. I've had some very weird Anaheim nights that have ended in the Rainforest Cafe. If you're a party of two at the Rainforest Cafe, you can dodge that whole line by sneaking into the bar area. If you ever go to Disneyland. Always go to the bar. It's always an hour and a half wait, but if you have, like, you know, a party of less than two and you find space at the bar, Plus open seating. That's one. So by yourself. <laughs> I'm two or less. Two or less. Content for drinking by yourself at Disneyland. Yeah. Uh, get right in. We've all been there. We've all been there. We have. Fucking bug. <laughs> Why is my life not this magical? <laughs> Potatoes. That's oh right. God. We should change the change it to social eating. Oh, barbarian! There are indeed options. They're really uh. Emu. I've never had emu. It's good. Emu is very good. good. Gator. 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 I love. Well, there's that sausage place downtown that does like rabbit and gator and snake. Where, and gator is the most like um, tough. environmentally. Where's like, Where's Kush? Yeah, that place. Where's Kush? Where's Kush? Where's Kush? I was just passing it by. That one's in Midwest right now. Yes. We will discuss. We will discuss. It's so good. They've got French fries and like. I know that we're talking about food that most of Chat can't eat because they don't live here. Sorry guys. If you come to LA, if you come to go to Disneyland. We can recommend some really good food for you. But what if we had this with ice cream? Well, <laughs> there is a cake. It'd be so what? Nice. There is a cake, and there is also pie. Is the cake a lie? Um, actually, Ryan, the cake? would you mind? Would you mind grabbing the, the, the cake from the refrigerator? You'll know exactly which cake it is. Is it in the beverage refrigerator? It is. No, it is in the the the. the Do we have an axe? Yeah, that's the main one. We have three refrigerators in Geek and Sundry. This is doing. I Bite don't it. know why. Mm. But Bite it! Three. Bite it! Yes! <laughs> oh! You are a savage! Yeah. I'm blocking this. So amazing. here, let me. Sorry. Sorry. Pro tip. Here, here, here. Go back there. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, so I thought you were going to go full face. Okay. Yeah. What so are you, you, so okay, you no, take, she's got a thing. Yeah, so she's you, got a thing. You, 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 like, fold it. Oh! Pot taco! No! Not in my gut. If you made a. Oh, God. Where did you grow up? <laughs> no. First of all, this ain't no walls where that came from. How are you so little? You eat so much. <laughs> but she never stops moving. She burns. <laughs> she burns. Like a like a burn. Exactly. Burn. Every every time I see Erica not here, she is legitimately like, okay, I'll see you later. I gotta go work out. Like you are the running gag from from a good place. Like, oh, I gotta go work out. Hilarious. And you're just gone. I just, did you see my my jocks mocking? Yes. I saw your jocks mocking oh, a photo. Yes. No, no, no. He's right. He's right. So jealous. He's so right. Bad. Oh, oh, in a minute we gotta go to. No, we're we're taking it. We're going for it. Yeah. Totally done this before. We're going for it. Hey, I was waiting for you to do that. Erica, you were waiting. Oh yeah. One bite and then can I just do it? Oh yeah. Okay. All right. That's really good. Tell us we're now meeting every zombie ever. That's doing it for me. I don't know if that's very oh, barbarian. Hey, are you good? So there we go. Yes. Whip it. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. The Vikings invented whip. Yeah. Well, pretty much. Which, which, <laughs> do you want to carve it with the, the axe? <laughs> I would have them put it down. Oh my god! <laughs> Erica, 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 has the axe been wet wiped? Soil Because <laughs> that axe has been places. Um, oh, I think we know? do this and we cut to music. Oh boy. Oh, that means I gotta go do my job. Give me a wet wipe for that. Yeah. All right. Okay. Wet wipe. Wet wipe. Wet wipe. Wet wipe. I need to do my job. Wipe <laughs> Ready? Ready? Wet nose me! Wait, wait. Put it back in. Put it back in. Put it back in. Right there. You got a quarter. Crossing. It was a good cut. Yeah, was that was a good cut. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, Ian. Oh. Ah. Serve it up! Ah. Yeah. Oh. That is how it's done. <laughs>
I'm imagining that's the head of your uh, enemy. <laughs> just dip, that dip, right. dip a little Oreo in there. <laughs> the king of Oreo. Ah, sorry. How the entire cast of Geek and Sundry got mono. <laughs> From yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. Let me know when we need to cut everyone. Mono e mono. <laughs> no problem. The hands of fate. Oh. Oh. All right. Do we have to wrap this up or? We got a minute. We got a awesome. minute. Awesome. Good. Well, let's keep eating. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, sorry. We hope you guys have really been enjoying the kind of stuff that we've been doing on this show like uh, the for, the, for the last month. Honestly, the thank you so much. I wouldn't have been able to do this without you. Like for wine. Yeah. We're going to have a couple like more a songs while we eat this in, in our shame. And then shame. 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 shame is what we do off screen. Shame, shame, shame. I'm just holding this bucket of More from the amazing band, <laughs> Song Hammer. <laughs> We're going to play a song or two. Two exactly. Exactly two. Two exactly. Japanese, so uh, from Okinawa, ia sa sa. So, because uh, there's barbarians, but there's also Vikings here tonight, we're going to dedicate a song to the Vikings of the Iron Throne. That would be the Ironborn, right? In the Game of Thrones, the Ironborn. So this one's going out to them again. Songhammer.com for a free song for you. Ten, I was drowned for my God and my King. I was a ship by my twelfth in the spring. Reaving the coast is a treacherous thing. I learned to kill for my God and my King. What is man cannot die. with my God in the sea. What is dead cannot die. We are born from the pride. I will take what is mine. What is dead cannot die. What is dead cannot die. We are born from the pride. I will take what is mine. 
Thank you, Geek and Sundry. You guys are so awesome. Yeah! Hi! <laughs> oh, wow, we had Moss Pit. You didn't need your eardrums, did you, for anything? That's right. Yeah. We were here to take care of those for you. What? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> oh, my God. So, if you're a barbarian, um, call us. Yeah, please. Yeah. We're lonely. Yeah. Or go to songhammer.com. <laughs> Get a free song download. Please, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely go to the website and, uh, and download the song. I've, I've got a couple of the tickets care. myself. The we have, uh, thank you guys so much for this week. Uh, we are getting... Are you okay? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I love, like, off camera, like, everybody was just, like, thrashing. And Brian first goes, I've never felt so at home. <laughs> <laughs> like, everybody in, uh -huh. like, in garb, like, yeah. moshing. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yes. This has no been great. Time. This has been fun. I'm yeah. filled with food. I'm filled with wild boar. Yeah, that's and right. pie and cake. Cake off the axe. Oh, yeah. Fresh off the axe. Well, we still got about Hashtag like cake new, off the axe. nine minutes. Nine minutes left in the show. Well, are we? Have we decided what we're doing next week? We have. We have. Can we? Can we tell? Oh, Do you guys yes. want to know? You guys want? Yeah, I think that. Do nope. you want to know what we have planned for you next week? Anglo Saxon. <laughs> this Stop is it, you people! <laughs> this, is, this is something that is very dear to my heart. Yes. Next week for Gather Your Party, it is Gather Your Wizard! Everyone! <laughs> yes, uh, so we are going to have a wizard theme Gather Your Party. Predominantly ah, Harry Potter. It's going to be pretty pottery. It's going to be heavily Harry Potter. It's going to be a lot of pottery. Uh, tell us in how many, how many uh, Harry Potter world outfits do you have? Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. Five. I have a lot. Uh, <laughs> How many of them are in your trunk? <laughs> two right at the moment. Two at the moment. Uh, right. <laughs> randomly, for no apparent reason. Yeah, my Slytherin robes are currently in my in my. Uh, for no apparent for reason. No apparent reason. Mm -hmm. And then I also have my Snape robes in there for no apparent. For reason. no apparent reason. For personal reasons. Uh, I also have a, a Lupin outfit. Um, oh my gosh, really? I do. I have. I dressed up. I'll find a picture. I dressed up as Lupin for the third film. Uh, and then, like, I've got a couple other, it's, I've got some Gryffindor stuff, and yeah, we got a lot of Harry Potter. That's right, so everybody, get all your house pride together. Yes. Uh, if you have photos of you, uh, like, tweet them uh, to us next Friday, and uh, maybe we'll do a little unofficial tally and see who has the most house pride, yeah. you know, award some points. Oh, we can have a point system. Yeah. I've always wanted to have a Harry Potter party, and I've never had a Harry Potter party. I, I have Potter done party. a couple of Harry, Harry Potter, Potter parties. There were, Harry and Potter I, parties? I let me tell you, I am very good at playing Harry Potter parties. Uh, are your Harry Potter parties practically perfect? <laughs> practically perfect in every way. Perfect. Your Harry Potter parties. My Harry Potter parties. Are practically perfect. Are practically perfect. Your Harry Potter parties my, are practically perfect. My, uh, are, are, hard, are hardly ever not perfect. <laughs> Almost never, hardly. Uh, 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 yes. <laughs> so yes, I, I will be repping Gryffindor most likely. I, I also be have. All, although I have, I realized too. Like we've all graduated. Like we whenever like adults wear house robes, mm. it's like we're like going to our reunion. It's a little weird, right? I don't know. Or I don't like. Even... Maybe it's like a thing, you know? I'm like imagining like the Harry Potter version of the Breakfast Club. Right. Stone shoe for yeah. Right. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Thirty <laughs> seconds. It's a rule. Awesome. <laughs> So yeah, Gryffindor Pride, uh, Slytherin, uh, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, and you know I've met some hardcore Hufflepuffs. Yeah, lots of, lots of love. A lot of Huffle, 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 Hufflepuff Huffle. love in the chat, which makes sense. Yeah, like yeah. The loyalty. Well, we also I have a whole. Yes. Um, and uh, so we've got that, and then uh, our our friends uh, uh, on Game Engine, we have uh, uh, Valerie and Keith Aram, who Very have nice. worked with literally all of. You. All yes! And Phil, and most likely. Everybody's yeah, working. Everybody. With, with everybody. Valerie and Keith. Uh, and uh, let's see, what, what else do you have on Wednesday Club? Uh, I think we're doing Grant Morrison. I'll double check. But, like, and like, it's this is the crazy thing is everyone, come back in for a goodbye. Yeah. We're come getting so close character. to Christmas. We're going to lose our minds. Let's yeah. yeah. the pie. Let's the pie. Uh, save the pie. We have plans for that pie. 
And I just want to say, like, I hope we make this look easy because, my God, it isn't. And we were also yeah. losing, our, losing our minds before the holidays. Yeah, Taliesin does not have a day off until he gets onto the plane and, <laughs> and, and leaves. Then. And yeah. leaves, leaves and goes far away. Yeah. Uh, but I love you guys so much. And we've had such a, and, and I, I love our weird little family so much. And we love you guys, part of our weird little family. And thank you for making this place. <laughs> yeah. uh, and uh, thank you so much to the crew who stays here late every Friday night uh, in order to do the most ridiculous things with us. They are nodding, going, yes, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, we, 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 we ask them for the most impossible, difficult, hey, weird things, and they deliver every time. So thank you so much to them. Thank you so much to Songhammer. They thank you guys so much. you who show up and honestly if you keep showing up for this we can do crazy, crazy we have things. some we have like 30 have so many things. 30 ideas currently so many crazy and like ideas. 10 bands yeah, if, you, if you all want us to gather your anime you better keep coming back for so we can have a next season oh, mm -hmm. it's yeah. gonna be crazy yeah oh there's so many plans oh gosh okay can i can i say the one i want to do yeah what's the one you want to do the one the one with ivan yeah, yeah. Yeah. I really wanted to gather your picture show. I'm gather trying to push your a Rocky Horror episode. Ah, so, yeah. so bad. Parental right. advisory before that. Oh, there will be definitely. Uh, yeah, that's right. Y'all are gonna see a, another right, side of Ivan. Right. Yeah. Y'all So many of us are a Rocky Horror alumni. That might be a fun one. So there's all sorts of thoughts. And thank you guys so much. Uh, please keep watching, subscribing, so and and hopefully we're in like and hope we'll lead into the the new year with a ton of crazy stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And check out Thrashtopia. Check out uh, uh, Sagas. Uh, we're really proud of it. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Thank you. I'm so crazy. I'm so crazy. We love you guys so okay. much. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, believe me, I will. And you, know, I'm not. You may be see me do one. That'll be cool. Good night, everybody. Yeah. Have a good weekend. Go have some fun. Yeah. Go out. Yeah. Some stuff. Yeah.